Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Sky Factory 2.5. When last we left off, I was doing all sorts of stuff. And today's plan? Even more stuff. That's right. Okay, yeah, I know. Not not as specific as you were hoping for, but I do have plans for today's uh, episode. Um, so lots of thanks to people out there that have been uh, giving me some, uh, some more tips. Uh, it's been really really nice uh, I have to say um, getting participation from uh, viewers has drastically increased my uh, experience on this so first and foremost I wanted to test something and I think that uh, people will approve of this so I'm going to start with uh, let's go over here and place down a block of wood and actually I'm gonna put down a couple and then on top of that I'm going to put one of those, and I'm just going to chop this. Oh, uh, I did just do a little bit of uh, regular old harvesting of some saplings, and I got a level up on my uh, convenience here of an emerald, which all that does is just increase the durability by 50%, which is, as I usually say, fantastic. Uh, but the idea here is that uh, I've been told by... Um, Ravensine or Sin, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but uh, uh, you'll see the comment on there, uh, that uh, on here, if I use the vein mining option, it will only harvest the same type of block. So both of these are wood. The tool I'm using can harvest both of these. But if I use vein miner on them, on one of them, it shouldn't harvest the other. So I'm going to test this on here. Oh, that's good. That's very good. And just in case you're curious, I can do uh, two of each so that uh, you guys can see that I was actually vein mining it. It should grab both. Yep, and this one. Oh, that's really nice. So therefore, if I wanted to, I could harvest these with the vein mining tool. I could have saved myself a ton of time on the first episode <laughs> or even the second episode because I spent forever just harvesting these two trees so I could build out this uh, stone area here. So that that is really, really excellent news. Also, on top of that, I've had some other suggestions. Uh, well, one of which is more just uh, the idea that I made the compressed stone hammer a wee bit early. Uh, what the compressed stone hammer does is it will break compressed stone. Um, which I don't think I have enough in here to do it. But I if I had uh, eight stone or nine stone, I could put nine stone together. It would make a compressed stone block, and then that compressed stone hammer can break that down, therefore saving me a lot of time of having to break like nine cobblestone, and then you know individually instead I'm breaking one block at a time. Which I, I will try to demonstrate that later on, and that was uh, also uh, given to me by Sun to Lexi. Once again, thank you very much for that. It's much appreciated. And this actually leads me to another area. If you notice here, I've kind of made this little frame out here. I mean, it, it's nothing fancy. I just figured I would extend out a little bit, and I was like, you know, I really need a way of um, expanding easier like a, a builder's one and so I started looking up some of my options and guess what I found a stone wand this is the first time I've made it first time I've used it I have no idea how to use it but I do know that uh, it should work horizontally with five blocks at a time and I believe I can use it ho 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 <laughs> check that action out early level base building Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, I need I need more slabs. Oh, I'm so excited. And it only lasts for like, I think, 150 uses or something. But, um, I mean, heck, you already saw how much time that saved me. I can, I can actually do this on camera. Ooh, it's crazy, crazy. Uh, and I, I know it only works uh, horizontally, but still, I mean, it's just stone and sticks. I don't, I don't even have to hold shift for this stuff. I can just, I can just do this and boom. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, building is going to be so much easier now. You guys are in for some trouble. Uh, in for some trouble. Make it double. Uh, no, sorry, I'm not going Pokemon route. Uh, so we got... Um, this will not go vertically, though. So it's only good for making floors. But this early on, that's that's totally what I'm about. Oh, that was, that was really sad. Okay. Um, so I, I do have some more stone in here, I believe. 
And yes, it is totally, totally worth one cobble and two sticks to make one of these things just for that. I'm going to put this back over here. You know what? Let's grab a full stack and make another bunch of slabs. Good to go. And I'll finish this off. And then uh, we'll get into another area that I plan on working on. And that is going to be um, making some storage. And I don't just mean regular chests. I've been wanting to get into this uh, mod for quite some time. And I'm thinking it's time that I start getting into, uh, what is it, uh, storage drawers. As well as, I've already used them many times in the past, uh, Java barrels. Uh, which I should make at least one or two just for the wood uh, that I'm going to have. But, um, hmm. <laughs> so let's look up some storage drawers. Whoops, uh, not backslash, at storage. Oh, look at all these. Look at all these. Wonderful. So we've got oak drawers, 32 stacks per drawer. That's That's nice. I like the compacting ones where you can... It, like you put in a block of iron and you can get iron nuggets as well as ingots out of it. But, I mean, it's going to kind of be silly for uh, wood, right? Because it doesn't really work that way. So I might be able to do 16 stacks per drawer. Is there a compacting drawer, perhaps? I don't know if uh, wood works that way where you can put logs in with... Uh, uh, reg and it uh, has planks as the outcome because you can't really recombine those to make the logs again. So, hmm, maybe I just make some of these that are currently like uh, just for making things pretty. Uh, now I realize, oh, there's oak. Let's go with that. Ooh, four chests and five pieces. Oh, I have plenty of wood, so I think I think I can afford that. And here, let's uh, simplify things and make a lot of chests because <laughs> I know that there's a recipe in here for uh, speed making chests just like I did there using uh, logs instead of the woods or instead of the wood so uh, let me grab a stack of these we'll do that and then we'll just do some of this oh look at that 32 of them already I'm liking this grab all those together and you know I'm just going to drop these over here and I can put these I believe just by anywhere uh, for instance I'll just plop one down here let's see if I can put like saplings as well as um, I could put wood and logs not that I'm going to store this here or anything but I believe that that's the information there and you can see on the top there there's a, a tooltip that says oak wood one oak wood planks one so if I'm curious as to how many I have in there it actually tells me the uh, quantity oak saplings four uh, stack limit eight and if I right click I don't get it left click I get one back out oh and it saves oh no it didn't save it I, I think I have to lock it for that shift yep I can take out a stack at a time Good stuff, good stuff. And then I can just dig it back up with my uh, convenience. <laughs> or at my convenience. All right, so that's that's working out really nicely. All right, so I'm going to be using some storage doors. I'm going to be building some kind of little, uh, uh, maybe a little shelter or uh, an open plan house. A shed, maybe. Maybe that. Maybe that's what I'll build. Some kind of uh, open walled shed. Um, but already I'm really liking where this is going with that stone wand, uh, the ability to uh, vein mine much easier, uh, knowing that uh, there are some things that I don't need to worry about as much. Um, hopefully I don't get too complacent with it and accidentally vein mine something, though. <laughs> you should all be aware that, that that's still going to happen at some point, whether I want it to or not. Um, but let's see, I'm going to need an area for a farm as well. Uh, so that I can start getting into, I think it's AgriCraft, and uh, making like 10, 10, 10 items and creating all sorts of stuff. But don't worry, I've not lost track. We still have at least one of these to get to today, and that is uh, sift gravel, sand, and dust in a sieve. And uh, I did say we were going to do that this time, so we are. But first, I need an area to put all this stuff that's just kind of piling up, and it's, it's looking really, really, like, bad. 
So uh, bear with me, I'm going to do a little bit of building, and uh, I'll be back with hopefully at least a, uh, a, a somewhat decent shelter, nothing too fancy. I mean, I only have some woods to work with at the moment, but uh, I suppose I could plant some different seeds of trees and try and vary it, but I think I will uh, change it out later on perhaps. But for now, let me just get into this, and I'll be back in a few. There we go, that should do it. Now I'm going to start moving some of this stuff from here into there. Alright, so this area has been moved. I've decided to just keep the barrels over here for now, but everything else has been moved over here. Uh, as you can see, I've got my uh, tinkers area here. Uh, I have just my kind of vanilla stuff here, plus a sifter, uh, my kind of a tools chest, as well as the achievement stand. And then here I kind of sorted this. I mean, I was kind of going with like tree seeds plus the different products you can get from each tree for this row and some food seeds miscellaneous stuff plus the bacon donut um, and then like storage and uh, just the different materials that we have here now, not that I really have a lot I've got like one of each or something but uh, I've got plenty of wood that I can work with and uh, yeah so next part's going to be uh, just getting along on this and uh, progressing a little further. So I just sifted that and I have to make, there we go, another one of these and I'm going to need some sticks. Let me grab some sticks here. I'm going to need at least two and I'm going to make myself a regular hammer since I don't really need the uh, compressed hammer. I don't want to use the durability on that just yet, but I can place down a stone break that and turn it into gravel. Now, that does meet one of the requirements, but I just want it as a placeholder. So I'm going to put another one down, break that, come on, there we go, get the gravel, and then place the gravel down, and it should turn into sand. There we go. So I'm going to put sand here, and therefore I have one of each now. And now the thing is I need to sift each one of those. And I believe that there's also another type of sieve that we can use. Yep, a heavy oak sieve. And that's what I'm going to be making next here. That requires, of course, just some oak wood and some sticks with heavy silk mesh. And that's made from four silk mesh each. Not sure if I have quite enough string just yet. Let's find out here. I have plenty in here, though. So let's see. Oh, that should be one... Hmm, I can't remember how many that takes. Is that an entire? No, it's just four. Okay, so that's not bad. Where'd all my silk go? Okay, and it all went back into my inventory. Not bad, not not bad at all. All right, put that back here. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, perfect. So then if I take these, a couple of silk mesh. Oh, that's gonna pop out. So I better grab my materials that I need. I'm gonna need two sticks. I'm going to need two oak, hmm, four oak, and then I should be all right. Oops, <laughs> my bad. And put these here. I could put some, make some wood armor if I really wanted to, but I haven't had any uh, uh, problems with uh, zombies and the like just yet. Hmm. I'm going to put this one over here, and I'll grab another wood slab just plop underneath there so it looks like it's not just floating in midair. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I think... Oh, that is my last one. I think I can uh, sift cobblestone on this. I was given a suggestion on this one as well. Oh, hey look, there's cobble right there. But, hmm, let me grab my pick. See if this works. Oh, I've got my pick on me. All right. Dig that up, and from what I understood, nope, doesn't sift like that. I think it works if I'm sifting a whole bunch of stuff, not cobblestone, but like uh, gravel. If I have a compressed gravel, compressed dirt, compressed sand, compressed, uh, 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 what do you call it, dust, I could use that in here. So this will compress one block at a time. This will com compress a compressed block at a time, which is like a nine regular blocks worth. So I don't remember who it was that actually gave me that suggestion. So if you, uh, if you are that person, thank you very much. Please 
feel free to uh, let me know who you are in the comments. I, for some reason I could not find that uh, suggestion that somebody gave me that uh, I should use the heavy oak sieve for uh, si sieving <laughs> or sifting uh, larger stacks of these, which I'm not quite there yet. Uh, I mean, I do have to do a bunch more of uh, harvesting of trees at this point. But that's alright. I'm going to grab some saplings and we're going to get a few more items done so I can sift a little bit more. Hey, mastered convenience. Get another bonus repair and extra modifier. This is really good. The only thing I'm not sure of is if in uh, 1.7 I can uh, replace the tools on here because that's one of the uh, future... Whoa, hello. That's one of the uh, uh, future... Uh, objectives in the achievement book as well is uh, crafting myself a Tinker's Construct tool using flint or bone I believe it is. Well we'll uh, find out soon enough. <gasps> Whoops. <laughs> oh well I guess I'll get another one of those. I uh, accidentally threw my uh, <laughs> my cane off, or my crook off the edge there. That's all right. Uh, it's just made out of wood, so I'll have to be very careful though. I might end up throwing something a little more valuable <laughs> where I don't want it to be. All right, so I finished uh, harvesting a bunch of those plants over there, and what I'm going to try is this compressed sieve by getting... well, not compressed sieve, but you, you get the idea. The uh, heavy oak sieve with compressed dirt. Oh, yes, it works. So this is like nine blocks worth of stuff. Just like that. Oh, and you get all the goods as if you had just sieved 18 blocks and you only <laughs> sieved two. That is great. Look at all this stone. Oh, my gosh. And then I can make 10 stone blocks. Simple as that. Oh, and then I could take those and make myself a compressed stone block. Grab out my new compressed stone hammer. Smashy, smashy, and pow. Get myself a whole bunch of stuff. Let's see, how many did I get? Oh, I got nine. Sweet. So then I can, oh, I can compress this and sift that as well. <laughs> you know what? Let's do it. Why not? You only live once, right? Ooh. Ooh, I got lapis. And I got broken iron ore. Ooh, broken ores. Interesting. Oh, and I got flint. Ha ha ha. That's what I'm looking for. All right, let's see if we can. Well, here. All right. So, in the achievement book, whoops, uh, I had to dig it and pick it back up. So, uh, sift gravel sand and dust in a sieve. Yes, we have. To, well, actually, I haven't sifted sand, so that is yet to be completed. Make Tinker's Construct tools from bone or flint. Well, that's the thing that I'm going to do at this point. Let's see if I can make a tool from flint. Uh, hold on a second. First thing, I need parts. I have this. Hmm, I'm going to want shovel and axe head. And I already have those, so therefore let me put these here. I think they only take, yeah, one material each. And that works. So if I take these... You know, before I use up the other one, let's find out if I can upgrade this. Oh, no, it doesn't want to, unless it requires it to be in the tinker table. Nope. Hmm, that is so sad. So sad indeed. Well, I suppose my uh, stone pickaxe barely has any uh, use on it so I could instead make myself a uh, pickaxe head with the remaining flint there we go and then I don't know if hmm I'm wondering I'm wondering if I put this here and can I flip that one I swear that this was an option in one of the mods but uh, I guess it's not available in this version, the ability to upgrade your uh, pickaxe. And this one doesn't have any level ups on it either. It's still uh, level one, but that's all right. I mean, this is just a uh, my convenience item anyway, so it I don't really need to uh, 
upgrade the levels on that one, whereas uh, I should need to for this. So let me grab a stick and hmm, I'm going to need a binding as well. But So with that I will need some wood, grab the binding, make myself a better pick, uh, wrong one, this here, and where's the wood? There we go. <laughs> and of course I get a stick back, which is fine. That's fine. Uh, make a better pickaxe. Do do do. Regular stick and a flint pickaxe. And then this uh, stone pickaxe can just get put in the chest in case I accidentally throw my tool over the edge. Why I would do that? I don't know. I didn't do. No, uh, did no. I didn't do that. That that wasn't me. I wouldn't do something stupid like that, would I? Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to sort out some of this stuff out of my inventory, and then we will continue on to uh, get that sand sifted. Alright, so I have been harvesting, as before, and I now have a whole bunch more dirt. So, let's make compressed dirt again. And with that, I will come super sift it. And... Boom, look at all the goodies. Oh my gosh. Make sure that you're close by, people. You don't want this stuff to fall off the edge like I almost did just now. <laughs> and I get a whole bunch of stuff out of that, uh, which is what we're looking for because we need to make more stone. Oh, just one shy. You know, I might harvest a little bit more just so I can get... Oh, there we go. I have one dirt. So if I sift the one dirt, maybe I can get enough stone. Yep. To make two compressed cobbles. Excellent. So there we go. Or a compressed cobble. Oh shoot. <laughs> I don't know what kind of math I was doing. Uh, you know what? Let me get uh, two more pieces of cobble and we can compress this and get two compressed cobblestone that we're going to end up working with here. Hold on just a moment. And we have Grandmaster Valen's Convenience. Which I have no idea what the, the Grandmastering actually means there. I guess it just means we're really good at it. <laughs> well, we'll still get to the next level. Eventually. And there we go. Making nine cobble. And making us two compressed cobblestone. I'm going to empty out my inventory real quick so we can see all the goodies we get from this one when we end up using it as uh, compressed sand. Alright, grab my compressed stone hammer. Drop a couple of these down here. And we smash. Smash. And pick it all back up. Recraft it into two compressed gravel, which we've already sifted compressed gravel. So what we're going to do next is compressed sand. And we're going to sift that. Mix all that together. And let's see what kind of goodies we get out of this. All right. One and two. Ooh, Sirtis Quartz. Very nice. That could be really useful. Um, we got a bunch of different crushed ores, which I think I'm just going to uh, put in the side here. And uh, we'll organize the different kinds in the future here. Sirtis Quartz. I think I'm going to put that over here with the lapis. Very nice. I'm going to have to look up some recipes and see if we can use some of that just uh, to help us jump ahead a little bit, maybe. We'll find out. All right, folks. Achievement stand time. Let's see. Sift gravel, sand, and dust in a sieve. Which, actually, I don't think that we did the dust, did we? Do I only have the one? Oh. I only have the one. That's all right. Uh, I will harvest a bit more and we will get into that one. But before we do, uh, make takers construct tools from Bone of Flint, which we did. Done. And uh, we'll get into these ones, I think, in the future. Craft and cook a crucible. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, making lava. Oh, this is, yeah, this is looking good for the next episode. Uh, but for now, let me go harvest a little bit more. We'll get this sieve, uh, the dusting or sieving the dust, and <laughs> we will be good. Actually, let me grab another one of these, and then I will be good. See you guys in a few. Really strange thing I have discovered, folks. If you run, 
it will actually uh, act like you're doing your shifting ability. Uh, you know where you're twerking? So if you really are getting a sore arm from constantly tapping your shift to twerk, <laughs> you could always try running around in circles. Just make sure you don't go over the edge. <laughs> All right, looks like I've got my 18 dirt again. Let's see if we can harvest this in the same way and hopefully get enough out of this to make two stacks. We shall see. Whoops, that was terrible. Let's do that. Oh, once again, only 13. Looks like I'm going to have to do a little bit more harvesting. And there we go. That should be good enough. A little bit more. And two compressed cobblestone. Let me grab my uh, compressed stone hammer here. I'm going to put away a few of these items, and then we'll be set to try out smashing some compressed dust. All right, here we go. A couple of these down. Compressed cobble into the usual and expected gravel. Remake it. Replace it. Smash it with the hammer to make the sand. And then, as before, recompress it. Resmash it into dust. And then with that, we can compress this into compressed dust and use our heavy oak sieve. One and two. Oh, look at that. I got redstone. My very first redstone. Tin ore, powdered iron ore, sky down dust, glowstone. Oh, wow. All sorts of goodies. All right, folks. Let's go finish this off. Sift gravel, sand, and dust in a sieve complete. All right, and I hope you guys like this video. I uh, know that I've been doing a bit of grind this time, but I am so glad that there is uh, a lot more going on with the, uh, the vein mining and other items. So I hope you guys have some suggestions for me. I'm going to be trying to do this uh, series about two to three times a week, depending upon how I can get to it or not. So if you can leave comments on how you think I can improve, suggestions, or even little secrets that you think might help speed things up for me, I'd appreciate it. Or even how to use some of the mods that I have yet to use. So, until next time, folks, we'll see ya.